you know um you know the saying in the world in this falling declining world that you should not care what anybody thinks only do you only focus on you only focus on what you want to do you know that saying yeah or that mindset it dwells richly in this last 21st century where in order to cope with the cold spiritedness or the cold heartedness of humanity people are telling themselves that it's okay to be unfazed by what other people think the bible it is written in matthew 24 that because of an increase in lawlessness the love of many will grow cold there is a saying in the world that goes something along the lines of hurt people hurt people so when you are not receiving love from people because their love has grown cold you will then incline unto a propensity towards hurting people given that you're being hurt so the cycle continues do you understand what i'm saying with this cycle continuing you're then dealing with a cold-hearted society that is trying to act like they're okay with not being loved they're trying to act like they're okay with aloof dispositions and people with disquieting apathy in their ecosystem their coping mechanism is to essentially callous themselves also their reaction is to be unemotional just like everybody around them is unemotional so when that is when you add a multiplier to that on on society where people are coping with people's loss of love in their hearts by in and of themselves wearing a mask of emotionlessness we are dealing with a world that is discombobulated frankensteinic frankly from what god created the lord never ever intended for mankind to not care what mankind thinks that's why he made eve for adam because man is not meant to be alone the lord himself is a fellowship holy spirit father and son the lord never intended for human beings to not regard the care the compassion the re the, 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 the the recognition of one's existence by fellow people so when human beings as a collective make a decision to disregard one like they in the inherent god-built need for each other's approval they create a satanic society of people who are absent of the image of god in them they have left that particular estate and insisted on walking like a devil who is unemotional it is it is apparently a virtue in 2023 to never mind being savage but stoic and like essentially unfeeling or it appears you are unfeeling you are not a person that wears your heart on your sleeve you pride yourself in hiding your emotions and you also pride yourself in acting towards other people like you don't care how they feel about you it can never be true you are not made to be that way so therefore to act that way is to walk in an unnaturalness is to walk in a self-deception for humanity to think that they can continue on not batting an eyelid at the aloofness of one another against each other is naive do you understand god recognized the need for adam to have eve he uh, humanity punishes humanity by putting them in solitary confinement it is a form of punishment uh, it is a form of correctional action apparently rehabilitation apparently in prisons to put a person in confinement from other human beings because they recognize that there is power in isolating a human being if at all you can punish a person by putting them alone it therefore must mean that solitude is of the devil it is not okay that is why god's servants have always all throughout history been isolated they've been thrown in ditches look at what happened with joseph look at what happened with peter in the prison look at what happened with with job look at what happened with um uh, david running away from his own camp fleeing from saul look at like basically nebuchadnezzar was judged by god by being put in isolation and solitude for seven years eating grass uh, grass like a beast if solitude is a form of punishment it must necessarily mean that it is extremely and excruciatingly punishing of a society to individualize or compartmentalize every person in here to cause people to think in such a siloed mindset that they don't regard their fellow man you cannot merely be content humanity with the fact that everybody around you is savage you ought to be a cut above the rest you ought to care that no one cares because you're different it is prideful and arrogant to run with the grain of savagery and conceit because you are reacting 
to everybody's savagery and conceit. You cannot be like the devil just because people have been to you like devils. Because on that day, you do no different thing and you are fast tracking the end of the world. Not caring about what people think or feel is not of God. And so when you pride yourself in apathy or aloofness against any individual person, apparently, allegedly, from what I saw in my dream, the Lord is going to judge you with that. Where it is that the aloof disposition that you wore, caring not for anybody's soul, caring not for anybody's sorrow about the fact that you don't care about them, all these things that you do in ignoring people, what is this reverse psychology silent treatment yes like it guys there's a silent treatment i have endured it quite um incredibly but i've never given anybody the silent treatment i have never under heaven had anybody talk to me and then i just made a decision to not respond like i like there is just so much discomfort in ignoring an audible voice in the room that is uh, talking to you and you know it's talking to you i could never do it and so i find it challenging to gauge others who can because what under heaven do you have to do or be to be that calloused to a point of ignoring a person in the same environment as you talking? They are talking and you are not, never mind not listening, but you are acting like they're invisible. Yeah. I've endured silent treatment for years. People who are listening to me can hear my voice, it's quite audible, but acting like I need call. Well, apparently the tables are about to turn any minute now. Where it is that I will be the one giving them the silent treatment except not directly, not deliberately. I will not be going out of my way to ignore them because I will not be in the plane that they're at. It is appointed unto man to die once and thereafter is the judgment. So once they have passed away, they get severed from this reality. Meaning that anybody that ignores them, it's not of any fault of their own. It's because they're dead. One minute. Okay. That was me doing edits. I apologize. Ish, my, yeah. As in this issue with my speech lag, like I just, I cannot deal one minute themselves in being insensitive and in insensitivity. And I like, yeah, guys, anyway, whatever. Last night, not last night, um, was it just this afternoon or whatever? I had this vision that I'm telling you guys now about where people were in hell and all they could think about was the fact that I did not care that they were there and that I wasn't sparing them any thoughts. It turns out that this behavior by the human race of being savage is a seed that they're sowing. It's written in God's word that you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. You will reap corruption, but you reap eternal life when you sow to the spirit. When you sow to the flesh, you reap corruption. It turns out this is eternal. Never mind just here on earth, where it is that upon sowing apathy, you reap apathy upon death. Upon sowing indiscretion, you reap indiscretion upon death. Basically, people not appropriately responding to Ukshanaguaako. Death has a sting. It ought hurt. It ought hurt. But some people live such evil, tormentive lives that people consider them good riddance. Only think about AKA, I will use that guy in the country, the celebrity. Remember how Bonang reacted to AKA's death? According to what vision I saw, AKA is currently tormented by the fact that Bonang did not care that he died. He sowed to his flesh and he reaped that corruption. He reaped apathy at his death by somebody that he hurt. Like all the people that people have just disregarded and treated like scum. Apparently this is something that is a form of torture. One of the methods of torture in eternity. Where it is that a AKA, for instance, will be perpetually ruminating on the fact that Ubo Nang didn't even send condolences to my family. She did not care to attend my funeral because I was a menace. I was a menace of a man to her. I could go on and on. Like, if these people do not repent and go to heaven, well, some of the things that torment them in eternity are people's reactions to their deaths. So now I will speak of, for instance, members of Hamas. Never mind Hamas. Let me think about, like, why, like, remember Osama bin Laden when he passed away? Remember the celebration by America? Remember how much they jumped up and down uh, over the death of a person? Death is supposed to sting. When somebody is eliminated from the earth, it is supposed to hurt. People are supposed to be somber and they're supposed to linger on this person's death for a while. And those thoughts are... Of, or, or that are basically with you those thoughts that are with you even in death 
are apparently very comforting eternally if at all you're safe in Christ but they are also tormenting if you are lost tormenting if you're lost like a man that commits suicide leaving his wife and children behind will be tormented by the pain of his widow over his selfishness and the thoughts of the widow whatever she is thinking about why this guy committed suicide even if this widow does not vocalize it to the world so she doesn't look insensitive if she is embittered by a husband that committed suicide like Uriki Rick who took his life Anna Bianca Leban this man gets tormented in eternity by thoughts that no one else has access to because it would be taboo for a widow to be resentful of a man who committed suicide on her so upon keeping quiet nobody else knows how she truly feels how embittered she is and apparently it is tormentive to these people like thoughts are tormentive in hell from what i saw and so to pride yourself in savagery apathy disregard to get a person to a point where they're like good riddance when you die you win yourself just um, an amplitude of torment in eternity so terrorists that pass away having massacred in a city having ransacked the city and then they finally get brought down they get tormented by those who rejoice at their death uh like the local rape rapist jack the ripper for instance that finally gets brought to the ground they get tormented by the relief of society when he is found dead when the when he is apprehended by having the police kill him they are tormented by people by, by by celebration at their death so when you pride like the criminals criminals who terrorize a local community criminals who terrorize a, a people group for any amount of time when finally they get gunned down when they get to hell from what the lord showed me they get tormented by the relief of that community over their death and it will be a perpetual torment forever wire wire they will know what the lady whose son was killed felt the lady whose daughter was raped felt the family that even though nobody died nobody was hurt by this gang member they nonetheless rejoiced at the death of a gang member because everyone had to live like behind fortified homes due to this terrorist they will be perpetually tormented by the relief of society over them because it is not good for man to be alone and when everybody is celebrating where you are spending eternal solitary confinement it is especially bruising it is especially tormenting so everybody that has put me in a position to suffer want isolation loneliness ndzikidudzi as a righteous person upon whose life this is a travesty just by merely sitting where you're sitting guilty pitying me yet doing absolutely nothing about it the day is going to arrive where my isolation and my solitude with no regard for my life me thinking me believing that no one cares like i'm sitting in this dump imaginative that no one is moved by my sorry life that no one cares my mom yo ass like it i that's one person that i am scared for her eternity yeah i am scared for my mom's eternity she is going to the worst part of hell and she will experience amplitudes upon amplitudes of severity of judgment above what i'm enduring like whatever you did to people you will get it returned to you multifold multifold the level of isolation she endured me through the level of apathy at the abuse by the world around me what she is acting like is apathy you know it doesn't even matter if you're pretending bottom line is if you ever made anybody feel unloved if you ever made anybody feel unwanted if you ever made anybody feel like no one cares just die if you ever made anybody feel ona le maka pretending you're faking it you're posing you're making like the last days the days generation that is wearing savagery for a, a, a bodysuit a onesie of savagery because you're coping and so your strategy upon coping is by passing everyone in the room shade so they can think you're strong so they can, so so they can think you're unemotional yet deep down inside you feel differently yeah well here in last the deal the fact remains everybody believes whatever facade you're putting on as real and so that being the reality to other people albeit being a fake 
existence in you you will feel that same thing in eternity where it is that the reality is you wanted love you wanted acknowledgement and you also wanted to give love and give acknowledgement but you withheld it now you will be longing for acknowledgement and love and everybody that you long to get it from will literally not give it back to you as in they will not be posing they will not be defending they will not be acting they will not be in a psychosis where they want to believe that it is okay for a human being to imagine they can live without other people so the level of destitution that i have been left to live in people are standing back watching me suffer because they hope the day is gonna arrive when i'm going to permit rape people are waiting for me to allow rape they are waiting for me to accommodate indoda a man that desperately wants to take care of me women are hoping that the day is going to arrive when i'm going to put myself in the hands of a, a man on yitzing to be a mistress just so i can live the visions and the dreams that i get about what people intend for my life are so disgusting they are so unraveling and so unnerving and so saddening and they cause me so much anxiety that that's exactly what it is that people are going to reap because they are sowing it people are waiting in gati base bus stop uti mina nyahambe nyo lala nendo te chadile or nyo tata indo da no in whatever form shape he comes in no ma tagata no ma salap lo meno satan no ma ngazuguti une ngulaz like get to a man like knowing that a man is hiv positive knowing that a man has been married like a good three four five times before knowing that a man has got like 10 kids out here in these streets knowing that a man has got hiv knowing these things that i must just know the pawns and gizzy telling gizzy lasel in the hands of such a man as that just to live or commit suicide like people are literally waiting for any eventuality of mine but definitely not ultimate recovery recompense and breakthrough mistress I am being waited for to sleep with an HIV positive man. I'm being waited for to sleep with a man out of wedlock at all, whether or not we are cool. I am being waited for to have a baby out of wedlock before I can get a job at all. I am being waited for to be the side piece of some dude on Anglo Mossad. I am being waited for to settle for men by Loyang that I know are doing witchcraft, but hey, he's prepared to take care of me. I am being waited for to also abandon Jesus upon realizing that he's doing nothing for me anyway. And then gihambe mina ngiyo twasa because apparently my spiritual gifting is evidence of the fact that I've got a calling to go mina ngiyo ba isangoma when giftings come from God and not the devil. Kin tsotsa batho ba blomileng outside of my life doing and it is these very people by aiming ba shapileng statue outside of an innocent woman's life waiting for her. Ukuthayo zibhidlis waiting for a woman to go and bust a bullet into her own brain spiritually spiritually they're waiting for me like guys with this level of conviction imagine the day arriving when i am lying in bed with some guy humping grunting on me because he finally managed to convince me that there is no jesus coming for me can you imagine how raped i would feel on that day can you imagine how my heart would be feeling on the day can you imagine how i would be feeling can you imagine the desecration i don't want to die it's have a suicide and so some dude is literally exercising on my body like a nando's chicken just lying there just so i don't live the rest of my life in sorrow like a just cause can you imagine how raped i would feel even if i appear to consent and gunaba fazi waiting for that to happen why women are not bleeding at the prospect of a woman's rape is beyond me it's it, like it's that last days that's how far gone we are as a society why basadi are not mourning over rape like for some man in Jefela like you're thoroughly waiting for ama tota ukuthi bazozi batoti Kenya go ga farana like papa for a man to finally pierce into me and then you sit back on some we finally made her do what it is that all of y'all did without being raped you consented to being taken by ama tota twele lili slay queens you allowed yourself ugu jona ama ugu jona ama tota that you knew a devil worshipers but for you it doesn't matter it's just money you allowed yourself to be in a relationship with a guy you can tell is manipulating you spiritually. You married a man. 
you consented to that Otsay by knowingly you walked down the aisle to an evil man. So when you're busy being grunted over every night, honey, you are not being raped on that day. You are happily with a man Otsubileng Mantekwana Satan. Otawwe. And I'm happy to be in that situation. And so far as I hold regular dieta, I hold talk about it every day. Marajano, when you're gonna go and grab a woman, or start buying skele musa nja ejwal, and then you wanna force her, or abe cheka wen, alo accommodate that nja eloyang. You are putting me in a position to be raped, and it is that kind of stuff that is gonna torment you eternally. Where it is that one come to around you, I can undaba that uya zwengu lwa laukon. Nobody cares. That you are having to say, yes, you guys, I don't know how many times I've seen this scene. Yako, Yako set it up. You know Jara Pinkett and set it up. She gets raped, but it doesn't look like rape. She gets raped. She's desperate to get ahead, to, to, get, to get something done, to pay for the fees of her brother. Uh, the university to co college tuition or whatever. The brother of which eventually ends up dying. But before then, because there's a, some, some filthy man that keeps on pursuing Jada, in her ecosystem on some i'll take care of you i'll give you money i'll give you what you want just let me have you like a salivating disgusting man and when the brother makes it into college but does not have the money to pay for registration or whatever she then finally decides Uti, she's gonna suck it up and sleep with a man that's gonna give her money that she's then going to use that money to pay for her brother's tuition and then this guy just humps on her while she lies there that's what people are expecting me to do they want me to just lie on a bed where some dude okay some of battling on hang is just gonna grunt on me and fufulel after 12 years of chastity i gotta let a man just have minji because in cartel for people to expect me to end up with this guy from america that's what they're saying no manga seven is the condom seeing as he's hiv positive that's irrelevant you are expecting me to lie in a bed while some disgusting man sweats on me and you, as women, are not disquieted by that. If it does not cause your hearts to bleed, when you see a woman getting sexually abused, how Salim Musadi, I get to in you on that day. There was this girl that is sitting so heavy on my heart from, from Israel that was taken by Hamas, who was raped, it is clear. Because even though we never saw them afflicting her that way, in her nether regions, there is she had period blood on her pants at the back. But she wasn't on her period. She was bleeding from rape. Do you understand? And we got to see that. We got to reach conclusions that she was raped. Likely multiple times by multiple men. Who left her so raw that she bled. And bleeding on her pants. We got to see her from the back that um, like these guys literally gang raped her and then told her put your pants back on and as she was sitting down she bled on those pants and we got to see her from the back. Every time I see the scene of that girl, she's apparently only 17 years old. I, 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 can't, I can't eat, I can't touch food, I can't, I can't focus on what I'm doing, I can't continue because it, it bleeds me so badly to understand that a woman has been, that has been done to a woman. She's been desecrated by careless man, men, monsters. And if she lives to tell the story, she will never be the same again. She will never be the same again. And when women can sit around waiting for umfaz, gang rape I'm a daughter. When women can sit around waiting for a woman to bleed, visibly so and you are just standing there cold as ice, inspired by nothing but jealousy. You are not a woman. I can't say that enough. How Musadi? I don't know how any woman can write out the prospect of any other woman's rape. I don't know. I'm a daughter. Another story for another day. And as we talk about ganja and how they function, it ought be a, a sore point for any woman to find out that any other woman has been forcibly had sexually. And when you throw a woman in a position, oh, you're rape. And you know that she might have consented. Bottom line is. If Meranga Fune at first and then you impoverished her and you starved her and you put her in such a bad position that Uzo Krena Akibelwe in daughter Ezom Juluyel, you are not Umfazi on that day. You are a troll, a zombie. Do you understand? Because no woman should ever be content with the observation of the likely impending rape of a woman. And a good end daughter Engi Funa high and long a corobela, Unemulaza, Ushale America. And I've been crying about this guy for a minute. 
ke batwa ha yen lo ke banna ba tsireneng ba tsubile matekwana a satane ba ba they are heavy into demonic worship ba rata satane ba loya ha bo hloko hampe ba ngpatla ka nkane some of them have put me in a position to never ever work again langkutwa ba ba tsitse hore re tlo dula mo situationing ena until she finally capitulates that is rape the kind that makes you bleed because Lenja Lena is trying to make sure that you you are having a hard time that you are bleeding that you're burning that you're raw he is trying to hurt you that's what he's doing with his manhood i've got those kinds of men looking at me and from what the lord has shown me in the dreams and the visions that i keep getting but what hoka fala they're dying these men are dying do you understand they are dying they're going to hell in their numbers bali bangata fela i had a vision of this guy from america as one of them but there were quite a few guys men in hell ba cha saddened broken devastated tormented by the fact that anginanda ba that they are dead and also that i am relieved because upon them passing away i will gain immediate relief from their witchcraft even if i didn't know them some of them angbazi the only one i recognized was that what that was that rapist from america that animal from america that was the only one i recognized cuz he's the one that i've been vocalizing my torments concerning on the rooftops god but he's not the only one he's not the only one get banned of miscreants it's like hamas a whole bunch of men rocking up and raping a whole bunch of women in israel it's a band of them some of them I, all of the i i don't know all of them except one thoroughly sitting trying to force umfazi to do what they want her to do bang pata kankan and basadi you're the ones that put me in a position obukwa kanjalo ngama ngabadlwe ngule to get me looked at like that by rapist men you have gotten me gawked at by men who don't want to go to prison for rape and so they rape women with witchcraft and given that i have a spiritual gifting they feel like but they can put me by attrition in such a bad position that you can mean me yekela in daughter etlong wetsikeng o tlong fufulela that's gross the crap out of me but hey i got to do what i got to do to survive that's what women out of jealousy you are prepared to do to other women on that day ha o sa le mosadi ntja wankutwa you are not a woman anymore when you are waiting for another woman to get raped whatever you are is some spoof some parody some caricature of what you used to be because aku aku kha aku komfazi la emgaqweni that is still a woman ngempela ongabuka ukuzwengulwa by another woman there is no woman that is as truly a woman they can ever watch the rape of another woman no matter how much you might be envious of her ha khona mona okakhozanga ngosadi ure ba akho abe content because that act ought disgust you given that it is a forceful entry into the body of somebody who has got the same body parts as you if they did that to you ungakwata ungaba violated with PTSD got all busy you are watching another woman getting raped ngoba unona unomona ngoba wena unikezwe ingulaza you allowed your pain to make you a monster a beast to make you basically in daughter now where you've got manhood i'll say kumfazi you're not a woman anymore because ke mosadi o dwang o shebelang mosadi o monga rape wa ke ntja nyoko e ya kwa america tsontse lo bula wa ke modim why do things have to get to that point where god will be the one to take him out the way no ba sadi ba wa ngata so ba ngama metseng when there's so many women listening to me ho ba neng e tsontse ntja ele lo bula wa ke modim ba mo file mosa precisely because le da wega o fela you have put him in a position to get murdered by god to get taken out by god to get killed by god you have taken even his mercy away because if you had done anything differently he might have left to tell the story because his wish for a phone on deaf ears he might have actually been given an opportunity your pila lenja leya purely because nina you refuse to let him uta your rape umuntu like you're giving your daughters away in defela la ba rekisa that's the thing about the cherita tsirianeng tsetsa maile mo lefatsing mo ka o fela a horing all over the show lona la tsamaya lo khosha ni hamba ni na sleeping around all over the show to get ahead man ka tala pon funu ku yenza banya ba fa ba fazi aba ama khosha you go on out there and you are you act like a whole whore a village bicycle won't come just riding into you who cannot touch any lass how can them you want to convert every woman into whatever you are you want to make every woman like kwani the whore that you are by any means necessary understand what you guys a rape a victim is not a whore a whore is a person that sleeps around gig i as i i we as tell her as the pawn to phone this woman is busy sleeping with men she's a wayward woman uzienze ikhosha she's a prostitute do you understand you cannot compare a woman that has been gang raped with a whore they're not the same thing maona le ba khosha out in the streets whores do you understand that are thoroughly going out of their way to convert women that would never go out of the, out like that into whores 
by inducing their rape, it's not the same thing. The raped women are victims when uzi lashile, uzi ponzile, uzi yenze, ihor. But no. Apparently, allegedly, if I end up sleeping with some other woman's husband, just to get out of the situation, I'm just as bad a whore as you. Omo la dileng ay tulete fel ko desking muno ng esin ko officing. Omo la dil wa flat o mo seduce wa robala lena o boto wa taunti compare na after you put me in harm's way for years until I end up capitulating. To unja e tulete mate ko na el loyang el fosta ng robikela na kibela na kako robela anza ng ete. It's not the same thing. You put women in harm's way. And some of them, when they end up sleeping with married men, it's because of the fact that you put them in such a bad strait that they accommodated it. You impoverished other fathers, the other women. You impoverished women and put them in harm's way at the beck and call of Banna. They keep on roofling women with witchcraft. Men, in the streets and abasadi have abasabate out of ego out of pride out of arrogance they then tell themselves guti ao na musadi oreng no abano chapo ngana batu amu tubi seka korobel next thing this woman has slept with a married man and she doesn't even know how that happened that is not the same thing women you put other women in a position to basically look like you to look like whores when they're not because kao fela le tubi le le tawwe kao fela le high on the occult and given that that's what your archer in the streets doing so voluntarily the lord showed me you're gonna start uktuk border you're gonna die and man shonile agna mundo zon tu ozon kumbulai there's no one that's gonna miss you hello hopula ene that's gonna torment you you will have been such a menace that your death will have been relief to certain people i have a, a former colleague that at the same time that she cast spells on me she cast spells on her younger sister that was still in freaking high school her younger sister on her on her so much at the time we were what 20 Seven, she was like 28 and I was 27. Her younger sister was still in high school. Not so matriculate to matriculate. And I got a dream where both her younger sister and me were in the same witchcraft trap together. So that, that chick destituted my future prospects for marriage. And she also destituted my future prospects for a strong career in one setting of witchcraft. So the same spell that she cast on me. She cast it on her baby sister that was just 17. So I don't know what that little girl's life is looking like today. She's a woman in her, what, like, uh, mid-twenties now. She's a woman in her mid-twenties now that is likely struggling to come up for air in a way that her sister has not struggled. Unless she sought the Lord's face for redemption. Give us Sadi Babang Mo. That she is going to have to forcibly end up with because she can't start her own career because her sister has gone on right ahead to mess up with the prospects of little sister before she could even exit high school that's what some women out in these streets are doing two cousins sisters friends banga basadi babang and they put them in a position uguyo except uput matlis when she wanted to take care of herself to take in her stride a man because I want to be too. I am a travesty. Why? Because I've got everything I need in order to take care of myself. And yet, strangely, I'm not able to. And I've got a whole bunch of women sitting on my chest telling me, How ule musadi o muntle garabo it's hebedis. Really? When you get to go uyo funda, get your degree, get a job. We talk o so you don't have to accommodate a rapist. Inja egnyangi saayo, ez wang dede, edu lang eja mesh stick, the way din likin zaga ding. Mara ojo tsepi sa tabaro oba lintu, you're gonna have a home. Tanto lo zaya anything ez wang mostra ding. A perfectly viable woman, o tali feel, she should be making money. Aga guazi, ngoba aba fazi, have put her in a position to accommodate a rapist. Indo ta ezo tumpa nge korobela over and over and over again, even though I'm fun. Do you understand? How mo batile mo akati lengting? Mara we boa born horo usutle ile and at some point by attrition or khatal. So jaga ha a kushebile horo o khatal aning. Una le basadi le bona ba eming to see or grant up o khatal aning. Lala kama pelo abatu. You've made me play the squid game langkutra. You've put me up for death, up for grabs. That's what's good. Lengtate si mo kudima the laps of banna ba tiriyaning ti 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 ti. Some of the most disgusting men on the earth feel entitled to me all because women are like no not you no not you let anybody else on the left and on the right of you up and down spinning around in the spot do something for themselves you 
o tlo nna ntse o bua nyenye modimo nyare nyare Jesus nyenye modimo nyare nyare Jesus o tlo nna ntse o bua ka yena o bo gena o ntse ntwere batlang ro wetse according to second timothy 33 according to 2 timothy 3 what that makes you is a despiser of those who do good. Where good is called evil and evil is called good. According to 1 Peter, I believe 4, you heap abuse on me because I've left the debauched lives that you're living. Thank God he lives. Thank God Jesus is real. Thank God. God is a whole thing. Because if it wasn't, man oh man. Because I would rather die, do you understand? Then who fufulelwa mo go dima mmelwa ka ke le montle ke le mokana yes like it ke mmono tsheriane wa ga le grand shop and some masturbate at the prospect of go rwala lena so by the time at wetsa ntwa ye tsang is probably gonna come in like 2 seconds cuz ga lantsa batla o kenada o tlong nyontsang o tsheriane o tlong ghela mara ke mo accommodate that's what under heaven you're expecting in dota that has been waiting with bated breath watching ama videos warm that are christian Nonetheless, ngathi ubukeli porn. Do you understand? The way he is salivating outside of impilo mfazi angamfuni. You have gotten me get gawked at by a daughter that would even go I and lick. Kama abalo khora like screen sa iPhone yabona watching me. Screen sa Mac computer yabona watching me. The way they are so satiated with lust. Ngathi ubukeli porn. Even though umfazi is a whole viable modest woman standing in front of them. Marangara na ga ka ba ra ke busy mo porn setting. Ke a pere kwa kwa e kana fela le di fish nest stockings that's all they see. You expect to kutina nyo nyo lala nyo nendo tenjal. A man that's not even that not that's not even going to care. If you're enjoying yourself, if you're having fun, if you're in the moment with him because he's all he's ever wanted to do is grunt on top of your body to a point where he will not care about the look on your face of disgust even as he is busy licking your neck. You want to put me in the house of Munna Odwal and you think Uguti, a holy god, he is so pure. It's not going to just throw you in hell before you can ever get to basically congratulate yourself and pat yourself on the shoulder for achieving that in the life of a woman. Do you know some of these men and women they look at me like I'm sexless. When they look at me all they think about is in Dabuguti. I haven't had sex in 12 years when when that when, when that's the only way that people are looking at you. How about no msaido so also tlhaga. They don't see a woman that is intelligent that is smart that should not be in this hole in this rut. They see a woman with cobwebs in her nether regions because all they think about is sex all day long it's just licentiousness they like the men of Sodom who are looking at the angels of God and they like bring them out we want to know them something pure and definitely you want to ravage it you just want to go and thrust your manhood into it there's nothing else that is motivating you other than lust Halena any conviction of sin I can it's Allah the inappropriateness of even imagining me as one who is sexless goodness gracious what does that even mean what does that even mean I have become fetishized by Batubat Hirianing that are always watching pornography and they imagine I am grabbable with their grubby fingers purely because of my sorrow and my suffering. Well, and the thing about that dream of me, it was a vision. The thing about that vision of me seeing a whole bunch of people burning in hell, saddened by the fact that I didn't care they were there and that for some of them I was even relieved that they were there, is that I, in that vision, was still here struggling god was giving me a timeline the lord was giving me now he was giving me a timeline he was not showing me the tribulation after the rapture has happened he was not showing me nah kile broken through out there flying in the sunset doing my own thing he wasn't showing me a version of me in the future he was showing me a version of me in this present time i was still struggling i was still dealing with challenges with my computer challenges with my phone in that dream i was in this exact position and yet they were in hell wondering why they didn't embrace grace and more than anything tormented by the fact that so finally they cared about how i feel finally they walked in an appropriateness of emotion finally this little barik yakwa america who is listening to my content and goes back to the drawing board and a lawyer does not care that i know he's a witch does not care that i know he doesn't care that I know he is just a menace of a man. He doesn't care that I find him disgusting. He just can't wait to grunt on me. That's all that he's waiting to do. He does not care that I want nothing to do with him. That I find him disgusting. He doesn't care that I have no feelings for him. He literally does not care. Well, from what I saw in my dream, he will finally care that I don't care. He will finally care that I hated him so much that I wanted him dead. He will finally care that I wanted him out of the way through Ukbo Dagwaake that I have been petitioning God day and night. He will finally care now that he's in hell that I don't care, that I am relieved that he is there. Kimulorile Ali saddened 
by his condemned state and the fact that I'm not Dabanai. Right now, he should care that I'm not Dabanai. Enough to leave me alone. Now is the time for him to basically mourn over Tabaragna Tabagayen. This is the right time to mourn over Tabayauri and Imfunala Gande Konyang Nyangisa. Now is the time for him to recognize Uti Uzienze Siboku, weekends of Siboku in my life. He's made himself a snake, a snare. He has made himself a twin yon tongue. Something so disgusting that I hate it. He should care now, because now is the only time when he has grace. Of such things as those. Sasa Atoka Fits. Tabor, Hageto better an island. Or Akon Hakele, Girly one. If anything, go tab, go rejoice. Galit as you find out or talk of it. He's only gonna only then set out Chanjail. Abeletaba or Nakanatava. And that man is no different from many of y'all who are about to go to hell. And from what the Lord showed me in this present time, in this present time, as in I will still be struggling, I will not yet have my breakthrough, I will not yet have monetized anything, I will still be in this green when some of these people are in hell burning. So it is not the rapture first, I won't be gone. It is not happening in the distant future. It's something so immediate that it is going to catch me and therefore them since Nikola in this grain that's what I saw in my vision while I am still in this position there will be people who are going to very shortly plunge into the abyss and then feel all devastated by the fact that I don't give a rat's behind that they're in hell if anything who I'm relieved because that's what happens when you don't wear wisdom that's what happens when you make yourself a menace in society. That's what happens when you make yourself a torment, a scare, a terror in the lives of people. When you die, they get relieved. But it does not just end at death. Apparently, allegedly, you get tormented by the fact that you were such a menace that upon going to hell, people got relieved that you left the earth. Apparently, people, after they pass away, if they've been menaces, get to be sad that people were glad that they died perspective ultimately reaches you so those are y'all that pride yourselves in your apathy in your disregard and disrespect of other people pride yourself in Tabaori, the girl you were competing with in high school has been gang raped so now she's no longer the prissy little virgin that she used to be and now the girl you used to envy is no longer what she used to be she's a fragment of herself she's distant she's removed she's suicidal and you pride yourself in the fact that she has a papa like a peacock she's not a peacock on the uh, rooftops anymore she's not busy taking selfies 20 times a day on youtube on, on facebook on instagram you pride yourself in the fact that she's not rocking up wearing all of those clothes of hers in front of you anymore because they put her in a place when when as a woman that's how you think that your rival the person you were competing with when they get raped you think that they got put in their place when women start to think like that there is no woman left there's no society remaining do you understand when out of sheer competition with a woman you will pride yourself in the fact that five men thrust themselves into her until she lost her personality until she became suicidal until she became so traumatized that she couldn't go out in public anymore until she got withered away at her sense of self-worth until she became obese when you pride yourself in a woman that you used to compete with being ravished by a whole bunch of beastly men when it could have been you you are no longer a woman because there is a time for everything on the on the school playground cat fighting there comes a time when you gotta put your little cat fighting feisty attitude against the woman that you are competing with behind you you should put it behind you the cherry that were competing with me that prided themselves in Tabaraki where let's black man menwaka aats waka ba traumatized ki banna ba sariani bang pata kankan wanting to take me by fire by force you pride yourself in Tabaraki where I've been put in my place ki 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 wisi itwe ki wisi itwe I've been dragged down and there's a whole bunch of men ripping apart my clothes trying to come into my body and kani bato mfufule lo ka ufela ba li seven leili di prida ka Tabaraki na ki bato wako gang rape waki ban I am apparently being handled according to women a usase umfazi on that day wankutwa when you think that way about a woman you are no longer a woman I get to be you are some by product of what you used to be you're a caricature you are there's nothing left of you we zombie crunch up there's nothing left my, my ex-boyfriend that used to compete with me if she is not ashamed of being with that mess of a man she is not a woman because even though we used to compete rivals like no man said oh no no compete i was not i used to slay her but upon finding these things out about her husband slash my ex-boyfriend she should of him and also of herself for listening to all of his lies she should be embarrassed and she should be sad for me that her husband has held me hostage for 12 years girlfriend i guess i any other man other than him he was the last guy i was with 12 years young immediately 
I got tall and Jane dot and it's a one nobody has, has ever made a, a, a responsible decision where I'm concerned in 12 years her man is looking like a whole high priest of the devil and if at all she's not embarrassed by that and if she's not ashamed of him and if in and of herself she is not putting down her rivalry and her beef with me she should be ashamed of that man for whole hostage taking taking his ex-girlfriend and incarcerating her for, for 12 years girlfriend like 12 years 12 years no woman should ever pride themselves for being chosen by a man like that but not first for before making sure ex girlfriend he has in casa un solitary confinement and gatala in the center of the earth where no one will ever find me on the day you wake up will wake up to the reality of the fact that your husband has done that all of you women that pride yourselves in having stolen men if at all the ex girlfriend ya kaisa was no pefmula omungimtana is facing legacy because in jaye mo tshore ga ditlhar ehle if you're not gonna act appropriately as Abba Fazi, Utite Bale, rival Riachau, the competition you were in with her during fluffy times, during lazy days, during days when there was no war. Now that there is a war, you better put your arms together as women and fight for our safety because Lama Totalana Abolile. Baptisms about a colleague of fell about a rape, Barakana Mohammed called to Raska Nyala. It's about time, Liam. Even if these men keep Banna Baluna, you gotta stand with what is right. Otherwise, your future as a woman in this country is over, South African women. Bona Banna Baluna, but what is the demise of Zahalejuan? My ex boyfriend's wife, who used to be a rival of mine and side piece in our relationship, Nerula Rasa and Rasa Utrani. You are not a woman if you don't stand with me, Wankut. How almost sad if you don't stand with me. Because Ntwe Munna Hawaii Yenzeng is an abomination. He's made it impossible for you to even move on Kaling Yalo Lahao. He's made it impossible for you in that marriage with your children to move on. He's made it impossible for you or Pelabo Pelo Bolling above reproach you because Ntwe Yenzeng, it was as like a Luen. If you don't stand with me, you're going to look like you stand with what that man did. You're going to look like you stand with what my ex-boyfriend did. You're going to look like Ntwe Yenzeng where I prove. You're going to look really bad. You're going to look like some freaking Bonnie and Clyde pairing. Some murderous couple, except I don't even think you ever intended for die idiot to hold his ex girlfriend hostage because that would mean Uguti now where you are under the shadow of a woman. I don't even think you signed up for that. You might have prided yourself in taking or in getting married to the man that never proposed marriage to me, but on the day you find out that he has gone on right ahead and, and held his ex girlfriend hostage. Raska puff puff mun raska him on that day. That's when you gotta literally forget about that bugger and stand with me. Basadi, you've been warned. I'm at the end. I'm about to go to hell by Osha. But if you don't do what is right, lo balate la morajo and lo itola tabor azang la itantueling right. Linda little basadi, you've got the body parts of a woman. Marli pizuli emeli banana batsuara sitting basadi boho. Batsuara basadi hostage. They are holding women hostage. Twelve years young girl. Last guy I ever slept with is your husband. What kind of rubbish is that? Anyway, whatever. Wait a second. Do you, Basad? Stand. Continue to aim. And let these men get away with murder. But bottom line is where? Naive learning, yes. I discovered that you have a daughter. Last time I checked, the firstborn child between the two of y'all is a girl. If you women don't do what is right, your daughters are next. The boyfriend is a thing that are the sons of these guys. They are going to follow after their fathers because it's a generational curse, Lentolen. Your sons in the future are going to hold E. Medizabo hostage that break up with them after some time. And your daughters, Bazot, Ganabat, Rengulilwe, Barrey, Pirwe, Ngoba, Abagwazu, Tolimi, Sevens. They're going to end up capitulating to Banna Badi Korobel. Lona Lenya Risa, Banna Badi Korobel, Banna Banna Badi Korobel. Or about waiting. Mona Otwele, he is a whole devil worshipper. Maru Pizubata on Yala Wana Wanganyana. You're next. If you don't stand with me, random wife of my ex and other women archer in these streets, Manang Limona Halisa Emilina, your daughters are next. Kebo and Nabato Katwanke Banan is running when it comes to your own backyard. On that day, maybe you will stop being that shallow. Maybe you won't be so shallow. Maybe like I be as shallow as you presently are. Ha says the Ranung, Njangana is running Momo starting. It's up buzzing around like in Tinsi. It's all bata. Hulon Yala Wana Wanganyana. That's when things are going to get. Get real are they not things are gonna finally get real when now some bugger or tyrianning or to be like my tequani or to bank or bella or don't come on a how much i'm going on yana i don't want yala when i'll say again i don't talk about how it's a cause when i how whatever i'll be in a trance for crying out loud my father i'll squint hypnotized spirals running and running and running moment because i'm not telling you i'm not going to see it and i'm not telling you 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 i
But tata anything about funa your lamanto they've got sticky fingers, you understand? They just take it. By a funa by a tata by the kitchen me bahambe. Brr, gone with your kid. So if you don't stand with me in 2023, understand. In 2037, it's your girl children. It's your daughters. Today, giddy sons of these men. And they will inevitably inherit the generational curses of their dads. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cran King.